Today we turn the KVD Enforcer Marksman Rifle into the Dragunov Sniper Rifle in Modern Warfare 3. The Enforcer is one of two Marksman Rifles new to Modern Warfare 3 that will one-shot to the head. And if you throw the right attachments on it, it becomes a very nice spammy style weapon. It's actually a really good build of the weapon because it's so fast and this gun's damage is silly. But you know the drill, I upload every day, like and sub down below if you enjoyed the video and let's talk about the attachments. I'm sure most of you can figure out what attachments make this the Dragunov just by looking at them in this case, but we're gonna start off with the 20 round mag in this video just for suspense. Not really a lot to explain here, the base magazine is 10, 20 is double that, more bullets, more better, especially for a weapon like this where you kinda have to spam it. Going back to the rear grip, we have on the broadside factory grip, it's a speed buff across the board. This is one of the weapons in the game where you can just stack it with speed attachments because its damages are really never gonna fall off and its recoil isn't that bad because its fire rate is capped. Going up to the optic. This one is a bit of an odd pick, but I had it unlocked and I wanted to try it out because it seemed like it would be really good for this style weapon and I turned out to be completely correct. The KR Intellis LSJ-3 Optic, it's a four-time magnification, aiming stability and aimed on sight speed. It also has a built-in laser, which is dope, but it blocks off the laser slot on the weapon, so keep that in mind if you really wanted to run a different type of laser. The only caveat to that is that it's an aftermarket part, so you're going to have to unlock it. Don't ask me how, I have no idea. If you don't have this unlocked, you can realistically use any optic you want in the game. And now that I've wasted enough of your time, we'll talk about the wooden attachments that make it a Dragunov. We have on the Ivanov Woodstock, it's a speed buff with some firing aim stability, and I'm not even just choosing it because it's a novel item that makes it look like a different type of gun, it's actually one of the better attachments if you want to run a speed attachment. And then same story for the barrel, the Kestovia Jek 40 barrel, it's another speed buff to the weapon, and again, I'm not just picking this because it's novel, this gun's damage is never really going to be bad, so why not make it faster with basically minus 17 sprint to fire and minus 11 11 ADS speed buff. All right, so a little bit of a different video today because I've turned the KVD Enforcer into the Dragunov just based on the wooden furniture. I have a camo and you'll have to trust me that the barrel and stock are wooden. Also exciting news, this is the first video I've ever recorded using my new microphone, so I'm gonna need your guys' help. If there's anything glaringly wrong with my audio, please feel free to tell me whether it's like cutting in and out, whatever the case may be. If it just doesn't sound good, like, you know how audio goes. Hello, are those both enemies? Nope, that was my teammate. We just didn't get to kill him. Oh, there are too many. It's a rich target environment. Too many people to shoot at. My peanut brain can't comprehend it. And then I get slid at by a swarm. We love that. The KVD Enforcer is a one-shot headshot, two-shot to the chest. And if you hit anything below that, it's three shots. So if you aim high, you'll be good to go. It's just a worse version of the MTZ Interceptor, but only worse in the fact that it's just... It just doesn't have as a consistent of a two-shot kill. There's nothing wrong with this gun if you're a good player and can just aim at chests. I really wish I could do things, but like for some reason it just feels like a personal attack whenever I get near the enemy side of the map. I know it isn't, but it just gets super frustrating whenever I'm the one, whenever I get to like the 50 yard line and plus that I'm the one just getting shot at, always. Like the rest of my team doesn't come here and then the enemies have like little to no interest in shooting my teammates when they do show up in MCWs, by the way. I, I hate it here. I hate it here. I hate it here. I hate it here so much. Please leave me alone. They're just pre-aiming the door waiting for me to come back. The hell just shot at me? I said that no, what? They're taking cover from my attack chopper just by being under like the mesh thing that keeps people from falling off the helipad. Damn, they already shot my shit down. Good play, I guess. No, they didn't. Who did they shoot down? I... Sure, I deserve that. Ow, dude. What? Uh, hello? How? 
I have been fucking IED'd like seven times. Like, maybe I'm just unlucky. Maybe it's my sign to never enlist in the military because I legitimately have been IED'd four times this match. They spawn on me. Ah, damn. He jumped and I hit double leg. The one time the KVD Enforcer isn't a two-shot kill. We hate it here. Chow that guy. Piss him off. Get my revenge on that dude. I have two guys in this fucking cubicle having a conference call. Like, I don't know what y'all are doing. Move, guys. Oh my god, I just keep getting fucking IED'd. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get away from these fucking things. Is that still a mechanic where killstreaks target the best player in the lobby? Or like the person who's statistically doing the best on the other team? Because like I feel attacked. I feel targeted. Like if what was happening to me was in an NFL game, the other team would be fined. I literally could not see that guy in a purple dot was above him, so I thought he was a teammate anyway. For those of you that want to LARP a little harder, you might want to put on, like, an actual sniper scope, perhaps. Personally, I think this one's really fun. It kind of suffers at distance a bit, but, like, what can you really expect with a marksman rifle? Especially one that you build for speed, so... Damn. I have half my team in single-digit kills. What the fuck, boys? 